this look other than it turned out exactly how I wanted it to and it turned out exactly how I didn't want it to. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get, let's get on to it. Look at all of these palettes that I'm using and that's like not even all the eyeshadows. Like I'm so annoying. But I just did this eye and at first I wasn't feeling it but now I am pumped to finish it. Okay, let's get started. Don't mind my sick voice. So I'm first gonna go in with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and a tart brush, it's double-ended, and I'm using this side. Obviously, I'm just gonna prime the eye with this. Um, normally, I'd use concealer to prime the eye, but like, I just feel like this is stuff that like Instagrammers use and like really big, good makeup artists. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use it. To set it, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Blanc Type by MAC. It's like a white shade. It is gorgeous for well, I shouldn't say it's gorgeous. It's like a really good base because it's super opaque and super white, so it really makes a lot of colors show very true. And uh, yeah, if you want something like not as intense, try Brulee by MAC. So I'm just gonna go in with some scotch tape. And what I'm gonna do, I have to try and make it as even to this eye as possible. For my brush, I'm gonna go in with a MAC 222 and the first of the 500,000 bajillion freaking palettes I have. Um, I'm using this Buxom palette. It's called Pastel Persuasion. It's like really weird labeling. It looks like a weird like prototype or something. I don't think it is. And I'm gonna go in with this gray shade here. It's kind of like an elephant gray. And what we're gonna do with this is put this in our crease as a transition shade and we're bringing it all the way back to the tape. But when we are putting it in the crease, I'm gonna hold my brush on a downward angle so that it kind of creates a nice cut crease right here. But we're not making a cut crease look. We're doing well, it's a very, very subtle cut crease. Um, I just don't want any of this shade to get onto my lid. So I'm just holding it up and focusing it here on the outer corner. And this is also just gonna blend it up gradually towards my eyebrow without getting it onto my lid. And I'm just um, doing windshield wiper motions back and forth. <laughs> Moving right along, I'm gonna go in with this Hard brush again double-sided but I'm taking this side it's more tapered and a little bit skinnier and more precise than the 222 there isn't much of a difference actually the 222 looks skinnier hmm I'm gonna go in with this color right here by Mac it's called sketch it's one of my favorites with this what I'm gonna do it kind of wasn't as red as I like so I did go in and layer it but for the time being, I'm just going to do what I did on this eye, on this eye. And that was just putting it in my crease a little bit below the gray transition shade that we use. Bringing it all the way back to the tape and dragging it down onto the lid. And then I'm just going to bring it slightly in the inner crease, but keeping it mostly on the outer crease. And then going back in with 222 to blend this out. Oh no, I actually used a 224 which has no shadow on it. And I'm just blending all that out so that we have a soft gradient effect up to the brow instead of a harsh little line that we have right now. Okay, so you probably didn't know this, but I wanted like a cranberry look and it's looking kind of gray and dark. So what I did was I just flipped that brush around to this flat sided brush and I went in with the shade Cranberry here by MAC. And pretty much I just patted this shade right over top of that shadow that I used. And it kind of blends itself out. And then I just dragged it onto the lid a little bit. And I just drag it down. And that just kind of gave it that Cranberry-esque that I was going for in the beginning. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly, what did I do? I think I went in with black next. So this is the Jouer Powder Eyeshadow in Licorice. I'm gonna take this on a MAC 219 pencil brush. So what I'm gonna do is just put this in the hollow of my crease and flick it backwards. Black's hard to work with, but this shade is actually really good. Super, super easy to blend out. So it's like a good black beginner shade, you know? Now this is where I became really, really annoying. So I'm just gonna mock what I did or I'm gonna replicate what I did on this side on this side just in case it comes out differently, but you totally don't have to do this. 
Um, first off, I wanted like a nice silvery color on the lid. So I first went in with Kitten by Stila and I wet that with a little bit of Fix Plus. But then I wasn't happy with it. It was a little bit too pinky. So then I took this shade called High from the Naked Smoky palette, which I thought would be a little bit more silvery, but it turned out to just actually enhance the pink. So then I looked for another shade and it's in the Makeup Forever Artist 9 palette. And it's this one right here, which is I-528. So I'm just gonna layer all three of those again. But um, this one is probably the one that you wanna use. But just any silvery pearl shade that you have, go for it. With this, what I'm doing is patting it on the lid. And I'm bringing it all the way back to where we put the black onto the lid a little bit. And I'm also bringing it right up to the crease so that we do have a nice little cut crease going on. But you don't have to bring this all the way back here because the shadows kind of blend out for themselves. As you can see, it kind of stops right there a little bit. So it does blend out pretty much for itself. So now I'm gonna go in and do the liner. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so my eyeliner is a little bit uneven. This one is more swoopy and this one's more out, but that's okay. I'm gonna work with it because um, I just am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up underneath the wing a little bit, and this is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. If you guys watch my Snapchats, then you would see that I talked about this concealer, and I have to say that I am so completely like in shock impressed with this concealer. So I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand and I'm taking a concealer brush and I'm just gonna clean up underneath the wing and drag it down a little bit. I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. I'm not using a pomade because the brows, I want to be a little bit softer. So I'm just using a pencil with them because the eyes are so intense. I really want them to be a good focus point. This is the Jouer Brow Powder Super Skinny. Any brow powder is going to work or any brow pencil. Starting at the front of my brows. I'm gonna use the concealer that's left over from the wing cleanup and use it for underneath my brow to clean this baby up and define it, chisel it, do all that good stuff to it, you know. As for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with um, this Makeup Forever shade that we used and just put this right underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Everyone was raving about it. Okay, like everyone's been raving about it, saying it's like the best drugstore mascara ever. Um, yeah, it's good for drugstore, but like still doesn't be better than sex. I don't think anything ever will. I'm gonna put on some lashes. These are the Ardell Demi 120s, and shout out to my girl Mandy. Thank you so much for these lashes. You are amazing. I met her beauty con, she is so sweet, so thank you so much. I'm just gonna quickly put these on, and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. I'm gonna go back in and fix up those puppies in a minute. Let me just let them, you know, set and dry. I haven't used this foundation in a while. It's um, the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation. Do you guys remember this? I'm using the Real Techniques Face Expert brush to apply. It smells like cupcakes. Look at that color match, how perfect. 
I forgot how much I like this foundation. It's like nice and dewy. Okay, my eyeshadow is kind of uneven though. I'm gonna clean the end of this brush off and I'm gonna use it with this concealer. This is the shade Ivory. Oh my God, I have like literally 12 different guys Snapchatting me right now and I don't know why this is happening. And I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes in a triangle shape right here. We're gonna do a super bright under eye. And I'm gonna bring it all the way back. I know I don't do that, but today, like, I'm feeling it. I'm also going to highlight with this, so putting it down my nose, in between the brows. One thing that this concealer isn't is lightweight. Oh, honey. If you don't like feeling makeup on your face, you can feel this like a boo. But I'm just gonna go in and set it. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. And I'm just setting this underneath my eyes. Does that side look better than this side? This side looks like tired still. Like that's why you gotta set that under eye, honey. And then I'm also just gonna set the rest of my face with a big powder brush. Let's warm up the face and bring some color back into it. This is Baby Don't Go Blush by MAC and a blush brush. And I'm using this as my transition shade for my contour. So I'm just putting this in the hollows. It's pretty much wherever I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna put this, sorry for being sick. I know it's like probably really annoying. We are warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia contour kit. By the way, if you guys don't have Anastasia on Snapchat, add her. She is so cute. I'm gonna use a highlighting brush. This is the Sigma F35. I've never used this for contouring. I literally just saw it and picked it up. I was like, I'm gonna try it. So let's try it. I'm gonna take this middle shade. I think it's called Fawn. I know that I said I didn't like this middle shade because it turns out kind of like black if you use too much, but I'm gonna use a light hand and we're gonna contour with it. So right now, I'm just cutting the cheek. The other day, my mom was talking to someone. I forget who it was, but like I was upstairs and she was saying something and she literally said the words, uh-huh, and then she cuts the cheek. I was like, oh, okay, mom. Mm-hmm. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my blush that's been my obsession lately. It's by Tarte in the shade Dazzled. And I'm just putting it back here on the temples and lightly blending it forward. I don't wanna have it be like too much. And you guys know I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter ever, and this is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. It is so good. This looks so weird without any like bottom makeup, so let's put some on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take Sketch and focus that right along my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the elephant gray color and just put that right underneath. And I'm gonna take a black liner because I'm in the mood for some black liner and I'm going to line my waterline and bring it all the way into the inner corner. Nice and now I'm just going to curl the lashes and apply a little bit of mascara. All right, all right, all right, let's do the lips. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of color, a little bit of nude, a little bit of it all. This is <coughs> me dying. This is Barely Bold by MAC. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Bad Habit. 
Then I'm going to take this lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Vintage Rose and put this in the center of my lips to make them bigger. It's not working. I'm going to pick a different color. I don't know how I feel about the lip. Let me straighten my hair and like finish it and then I'll decide. So I changed the lip because it just, it literally wasn't working at all. So this is um, that Dusty Rose by Dry Cosmetics and a little bit of the CoverGirl Queen Lip Gloss on top of it. It's just really sparkly. And I also darkened my eyebrows. Something looked very weird. It looked very, my forehead was super long and super big. So I was like, mm, it must be my eyebrows. So I darkened them up and it looks way better now. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. My hair's a mess. All right, I hope you guys all enjoy it and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.